children. I have no clue what I'm doing. Be an art major. That's how you make money. <laughs> it's better than getting a what? English degree? I will say that. I have no clue. Stay in school, kids. Don't do anything stupid. Unless if you're an art major. Then you get an excuse to be stupid. You're welcome. Gracious. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was something important. It's just clay. Awesome. Did I make it? I feel like I made this too thin. Did I? No. Okay. I'm sending you right here for vinegar. Which side is better? Flip this side. So that's... Ah, damn it. Damn it. Oh god. Ah, I forgot I'm getting dust everywhere. Can't breathe it in. Remember kids. Never breathe in dry clay, it's dangerous.
first fist firing. Yay. Now the glazing part that I absolutely hate. I think it's understood that glazing is one of the worst parts. You can do with ceramics. I hate it. I hate is the fact that you have to try and find all of your work because it's never where it should be or in this case together like I like it I actually can't get in to the printmaking set this stupid oh <sighs> that does not help I need to use the bathroom <laughs> and I'm on the wrong side How does how does this open? How? All I want to do is use the bathroom. I can't use the bathroom. Can't use the bathroom. This is the joys of being an art major. Being an art major, they said. It would be fun, they said. Apparently, not one. You can't get to the other side of the art annex. Ah, I just want to use the freaking bathroom and I can't. I'm done.
last time. Wait, no, that's a lie. I swear that keeps looking like it's mine, but it's not. It's not my handiwork. That looks thrown. I'm not allowed to throw, even though I did throw a piece. I think that's everything. One of them is a white, which I've been using two different whites, but this is a new white, which is good. It's actually very stark white. I'm gonna like it. It's 9.38 in the morning. Okay. Another one is like, I, Lapes, I think it's L-A-P-E-S. That Lapels, Lapes, I don't know. It's kind of like a... Depending on the firing, you get either a purple or a very pretty royal blue, and then a very beautiful brown. That's what we're doing today. bug you know what before I get started this is the printmaking and the painting side I think I have no idea fridge this is for stone and screen printing I think we did not screen print last semester the very last semester we had printmaking officially unfortunately this is where we all hung out. Communi community? I don't know, communal? Well, whatever. Here is the fun part because it says 
flammable. Keep fire away. This, my children, this is where all of this stuff is. <laughs> this is why art majors don't share the annex with anyone else but art majors. It actually stinks. That's okay, as I say. So my children, be an art major. So that way you actually have something to defend yourself with, other than with tools. These are the stones. This one's mine. These are heavy. You can kind of see it. These print opposite. So this is not the right side it is. Oh my God, it's actually gonna be the left side. Normally you would print it on one of these. I need to, I want to print more of my stone, but we have a problem and there's not a thing to print it with, which sucks. So there's that problem. This is for our plastic plates. Some of these inks, like right, right in here, like some, like this, 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 and this are kind of like set aside for myself so I can print some more. So yeah, these are inks, different types of inks. Don't eat these kids. These are bad for you. Don't be me where last semester I was doing printmaking one weekend and I had on gloves and I would always like blow in it because it was like sweaty and it was hot and so my hands got hot and the gloves since they're latex gloves wanted to stick to me so I would blow in them I did not realize that I was getting ink all over my face especially all over my lips and my nose and Benji came in and he told me to go clean it off because apparently it's bad to have ink on your lips because that could translate to being in your body and apparently that's bad so yeah just telling you from experience don't eat the inks don't even try and get the inks on your lips or your nose because that's bad for you don't mind the uh mask i'm kind of wearing um i may be making more clay today knowing me i might go through all of it i don't know but yesterday, when I said I thought that this was red clay, it's really not. It's actually 50-50. And apparently when they did it like last year with 50-50, it, it was perfectly fine on a high fire. So you know what? We're going to proceed with these as though they're high fire. So what I'm gonna do is get out brown I was using yesterday and I kind of want to use the white again. So you know what, we're done with that. This is how the brown comes out. It's a very beautiful kind of, well, I mean, I guess beautiful in the sense that I like the way that comes out as kind of a one tone. We're changing it up with a different white. Yesterday I was using Crazy Marvin's white. Today I'm using glass white. Crazy Marvin's white is more of a, the way like on the sample. Crazy Marvin's white is more of a matte finish. Oh, it's gloss. Not a, it's a no, not an A. I'm sorry. This is a point of reference for anyone who is going to be working with ceramics and working with glazes that if you know you're gonna be working with the white glaze and you need to obviously mix your glazes with like a tool, but the tool like this is to mix this color up while the lid of this is on. I made the silly mistake of like almost getting drops in here because I was mixing it in here and this is a thick, thick glaze that I probably need. To. I should probably thin this down, but where I was mixing this longer and I uh, had the tool up like a lot, I almost got drops in, not, not in the gloss white, but in the crazy Marvin's white, I almost got drops in that. And 
one drop of anything that's not white in a white ruins the entire white glaze. You know, I think Campus Police came up, but they didn't come in. I can pull a tooth. <laughs> See what I mean by thick glaze? Those of you who've been in ceramics understand that this is an extremely thick glaze. Apparently I'm, a, I'm having a hard time Englishing today. So I'm sorry for those of you who whose first language is not <laughs> English. Okay, students. You may be wondering, Emma, what's this? As I let that dry that I just put down, that piece of ceramic with glaze on it, I will take it after like five minutes and I'll put the bottom one here and get all the glaze off of the bottom. Otherwise, if I don't do that, it'll stick to the kiln shelf and kiln shelves are expensive and they're very expensive. To replace just one, not multiple, just one is expensive. to lay in this area. I'm going to adopt that cat. I'm gonna adopt the cat. To be part of the annex, and I'm gonna name the cat Vincent. The cat is named Vincent, and I'm gonna lure the kitty in here. And the kitty is gonna be part of the annex. We are back. So I already did it to the brown, but you want to get all this glaze off. The way I found, put it on here and just turn it. That's all you need to do. That should get all of the glaze off. I, I have a little bit uh, on the bottom, as you can see where the clay has gone inward. So, in this case, you just pick a little piece of this up and just twist like that and it'll come out. Don't ask how you get it out of your initials because I have no clue. So yeah, this is like an okay process. It's not the funnest out of all of the ceramics making processes, but you know what? It's perfectly fine by me. You know what? Today we might smash it. didn't know. If you live in the country, you never ask what goes on. You just accept your fate. If you hear something weird outside, you just accept your fate. Living in the country. So there's that. Students, take a hint. Just make art. Be in the studio as much as possible. You'll be good. I promise you.